All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy... Oh! Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Lewis going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Under two minutes in the first round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, collar tie. Lee's kick attempt there blocked. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Unable to connect with a right hook. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Nice hit. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Twenty seconds left. Just misses there with the left. Able to check that kick as well. Striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Second round underway. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. All right, single collar tie now. Big ball for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That was a thudding leg kick. 90 seconds to go now. Knee to the body, got it up, but didn't get it to the target. Blocked there by Lewis. Real quick leg kick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Good punch. There's no give on that leg kick. Follows it up with a nice combination. Back to the spot, clinch position. And they separate. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Third round underway. Ooh, big shot lands. Look at the force behind that leg kick. 
Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. A good job defensively there to block the strike by Lee. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion as which he moves. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Comes through with a big knee. Oh! What a round. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see time when they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, that's big. My goodness. the body that can't feel good oh he gets hit by that leg kick oh look at the redness underneath that left elbow he is badger in that left side of the body and he connects there with a punch so pretty good striking display by him thus far he throws everything so straight and so accurate Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. He got the turnover in that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. High-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, 
and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. And that one certainly found the target. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. And they separate. Single collar tie now. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Woo! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Bruce 